MailChimp email marketing tutorial, create email marketing campaigns. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a quick look at how you can get started with MailChimp's email marketing platform. So let's get into it. Now, MailChimp is primarily known for their email marketing, although they provide other features such as marketing automation, social media marketing, websites, audience management, and more. Their email marketing is really what they have started out from, and it's really something that a lot of people find useful, especially for smaller businesses that are just starting out. Using something like MailChimp can be really easy and effective to increase your marketing campaign, to increase your uh, brand awareness as well. So let's get into MailChimp's email marketing. To get started, simply head on over to MailChimp.com and click on sign up on the top right over here. Once you click on sign up, you can choose the plan that you want. So they have multiple different platforms. You have your marketing platform, website and commerce platform, and transactional email platform. So if you're looking to specifically use this only for transactional emails, you can use this. But even on their marketing platform, you do have free emails. So you can use that and you can, uh, you know, use uh, this to send over a thousand emails on their free plan. But obviously, once you have established uh, some level of your business on email marketing, then you will have to increase to their premium versions with transactional emails. But to get started, simply head on over to sign up for free on the free plan of the marketing plans of MailChimp, and then enter your business email, username, and password. So I'm just going to log on to my account because I have created one previously. So I'm just going to verify my email and it's going to copy this and verify. And just like that, our MailChimp account has been logged on. But if this is your first time using MailChimp, you're just going to be led to your basic dashboard. Now on the left, you will find that you have your navigation panel. In this navigation panel, you have your campaigns, automations, audience analytics, website content, and integrations. But we're going to be focusing more on creating a campaign and how you're supposed to send it, how you can manage your campaigns. So first off, uh, there are a couple of things you need to know before we get into creating our campaigns. So the first thing is that you want to make sure that your campaigns are effective. So that is one primary thing. And for that, I recommend that you create a template that you know is going to work for your business. So a template that you know that people often view, a template that is um, proven is what you want to focus on. I'm just going to delete the pre-existing campaigns, but let's say uh, I don't have any idea how to create a successful campaign design. For that, you can go on to canva.com and you can just search for email marketing over here and you will see multiple different email templates and you will find a lot of different information on how you can create successful campaigns. So we're going to begin by adding our audience. So your audience is going to be your customers or your contacts. If you have them already, just click on add your contacts and import your CSV or XLS file. If you don't have them saved already, then you can just do a copy paste method or you can import to form another service or manually enter all of your contacts. Then you can create segmentations, tags, and surveys. But we have that covered in a basic uh, MailChimp introduction video. So if you want to know more about that, check that video out. Now, moving on to campaigns. First off, we're going to click on create new and begin creating our campaign. Now we're going to be creating a email campaign and you have some basic options. So if you want to create a regular email campaign, if you want to get started with a plain text email or a regular email. So I want to get started with a template. The reason for this is if you are a beginner and you don't have a lot of experience in designing, then you want to go with this platform's pre-existing template because you know the design is going to be decent. It might not be extraordinary, but it's going to get the job done and it will make it a lot simpler for you to get started. You guys can see there are so many different designs you can choose from, whichever fits your business or your services well. You can choose that depending on uh, what kind of email you want to send, the designs will vary as well. Let's say I just want to create an email marketing campaign to uh, send a launch email. So a launch email, something like that, so uh, our brand might be launching. I can search for the type of template as well. 
but I have newsletters, conference welcome, we have event, shop, new collection, and we're just going to browse around to find the one that fits our business most. Performance invite, thank you, emails, community welcomes. Yeah, so we have this upcoming events one as well. I think I'm going to go with a simpler email, like one of these templates. So something like this, I'm just going to select this and then I'm going to name my template. So it might be, let's say I'm going to just set up a basic uh, launch template. So I'm going to name this launch and now I can enter my own logo. I can even uh, just, you know, obviously change the sizing, change all of that, but I'm going to remove this for now also going to remove this and it's going to be launching soon and then i can enter my own image i'm just going to delete this for now the latest and most luxurious tech accessories and then i can click on done over here you can change the text style you can add backgrounds as well if you want you can also create multiple different uh, designs as well within this so you can change the color color scheme of each individual block and you have these universal styles so you can apply to your entire email as well and you can enter individual content sections or content blocks from the left side of your screen over here so you also have a creative assistant that usually uh, you don't have in a lot of other email marketing uh, platforms that allows you to apply things automatically so you can set one logo and in all of the logo sections it would automatically insert your logo but we're just gonna save this template and proceed and i'm going to just continue on over here setting up our first email marketing campaign so it's called launch and now what i want to do is take this template and i might want to just uh, share this or replicate this so for that i like to go into my campaign manager you guys can see I'm just going to go into all campaigns. I have my email ready, so I'm going to click on create new. I can go into my templates or go into automations overview and create a automation to send my new email. So I'm going to click on build from scratch over here in my automation. And usually email marketing campaigns are going to be so usually email marketing campaigns are going to focus on one specific point of sale, you could say. So it might be either you are trying to promote your, you're trying to promote your new launches or you're trying to promote a new collection or, you know, it needs to have one specific purpose in mind. It can't be a general marketing campaign. Now going on to our starting point, our starting point is going to be send an email. So I want to send email contacts from our customer journey. So this is basically is going to be sent to all of my customers and I'm going to add a uh, section where I want to enter the second section. And from here, I can just enter that email. Obviously with the free plan, there are some limitations. You can only create for automations, but just like that, you can enter your automation and send your email to all of your customers. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.